So over the past few days, I got some more fan art. So, let's have a look at that, and take the time to thank everyone who sent that in. First off, this sketch design of Crystal Man EXE came in from G and Watch. It kind of takes more into mind Crystal Man being kind of a spiritual being, one who can see the future with his crystals. I think that's actually kind of an interesting concept, and it shows there's really a lot of directions you can go in with Crystal Man. This one came in from Gunstar Hero 21. I could really see them using a design like this. This definitely calls Liquid Crystal to mind. And looks pretty cool, I like that. GameGeek93 sent this one in. He did a modification of the, uh, the sprite he did of me as a Navi earlier. This apparently is my Dark Soul mode. Remember kids, don't feed your dragon dark chips, or this will happen. This came in from Flamehell1. This was labeled Roam, Lord of Shiny. <laughs> I rather like that, and yes, it does capture my need to have all things shiny. And speaking of shiny, this design for Jewel Man EXE came in from Hot Hit 05, and is very entrancingly shiny. Yes. I'm hypnotized by the jewels. I also like the extra touch he put in of uh, having my green dragon glyph as the Navi insignia. That's pretty cool. Hot Hit 05 also sent in this motivational poster. Prism. For when overkill just isn't enough. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I very much love that, yes. <laughs> That's a strong met, but not for long. <laughs> Thank you very much to everyone who sent things in. It was nice getting all this and getting to show it off. Thank you very much. So with that, let's get on to the Let's Play and finish this out. Let's go! So here we are back in Net Area 16, and the chip grinding is finally at an end. Bloody drop down. Man, that one was annoying to get. Thankfully, things like that got better in future games. They were nicer about actually giving you the chips you'd earned instead of just saying, here, have some more Zenny. Surely you're after Zenny. That could be all you want. So, anyway, with all but one chip, the final encounter is actually set. And annoyingly enough, it's a complete and total random encounter. On the final area of the net, with no warning that he's here. <laughs> Seriously, what were they thinking on this? I have to wonder if this is addressed in the remake. The one that they're making now... I don't, I don't know if it's even actually out in Japan yet, but it's like the, a crossover of the original Battle Network and Star Force. I know there's a new scenario in it that involves a Navi called Clockman or something of the like, but I have to wonder if it addresses things like, you know, giving Pharaoh Man and Shadow Man actual dialogue instead of them just being this out-of-nowhere, hey, where did you come from encounter. Oh, come on. Show up. Come on, I was up until four in the morning trying to finish the chip grinding. I want to wrap this up. I love Battle Network, but I have other projects I want to work on. Ugh, bloody random encounters. The post-game areas in the future games were thankfully a lot better also. Alright, that's it. Save states and speed. Come on, show up. I know you're here. Come on, I can keep this up as long as you can. Look, after all the work I went to, I want my bloody final boss battle. There he is. Finally, say hello to base. Base is in control of life aura. That's what that hundred is over his hit points. Yes, he was the one that the battle list was talking about that actually stole the, uh, the life aura data from the life virus. He does have to drop it occasionally to attack, though. But it never hurts to have a little invisibility insurance.
Pop-up protects you, I believe, for one turn, so long as you're not attacking. Yes, I'm back to being vulnerable now. Okay, his blue charge is very easy to dodge. Still going to drop a skull on him, though, to weaken him and make sure he doesn't bring back his life aura. Yes, his hands charge different colors to show which kind of attack he's going to be using. Yellow is probably the most dangerous because there's no warning at all as to exactly what he's going to do. Red kind of works like Woodman in a sense. It makes flashing panels appear and you have to dodge them. But I'm going to shock him out of using this. Blue just makes this kind of chasing spark that goes around your side of the field. Oh, I love Quick Gauge. Quick Gauge is my best friend ever. Okay, was that good enough? Yes, yes it was. Life or a get. Yep, that's all you can get from him. You can't even get his chip. It exists in the game, but you can't get it from him. Figure that one out. So, yeah. Anticlimactic as that might have been, that's the end of the secret areas for this game. Like I said, thankfully they got a lot better in the future games. So, yeah, I guess that's the end of the main footage for this one. So with that, we've reached the end of Mega Man Battle Network. It was a lot of fun getting back into this. This is actually the first time I've played Mega Man Battle Network in quite some time. So I had a lot of fun actually getting back into it and playing this again. So, yeah, I actually do plan to do some extra material for the game, but it's gonna wait a little bit because of another project I want to work on. And also, like I said, I'm definitely going to play the other games in the series. But I'm going to alternate it with other projects so that I can get some variants going on my channel. So, yeah, for its first time out, Mega Man Battle Network, the first game, it was actually pretty fun. It did have its problems, yes. The reward system, the ranking system, it left some things to be desired. Problems like S-ranking something and not getting its chip, that was always rather annoying. Uh, beyond that, the only other thing that really annoyed me was the fact that the net looks the same no matter where you are on it, so it's really hard to find your way around. But other than that, it's still a good, solid, fun game, so I highly recommend it. So, yeah, the next project I'm going to be working on, I've pretty much said it all on the channel by now, I think. With Halloween just around the corner, the next thing I plan to do is a Let's Play of Silent Hill. So, that will be next. And that's also why things are waiting, because I want to be sure to get this up, you know, get this up and running in time for Halloween. Beyond that, that's pretty much it. That's the end of this series, at least for now. I do still want to do the extra materials, but those will be in a little while. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I hope you've enjoyed Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network, and I shall see you next time. Until then, fare thee well.